Welcome back to Wii Stop. Crazy after 18 years of making videos on the Wii, we've yet to make the coveted 100 facts video. But streaks are meant to be broken. So today, let's take a look at 100 Wii facts that you probably don't know. Dance Dance Revolution was an inspiration for the console. Miyamoto stated in a Business Week interview that while classic style controllers were great and fondly received by players, they also stifled innovation. Games like DDR proved that games didn't have to fit into one controller method, and changing controller methods put less restrictions on creativity. The Nintendo Wii was first announced under the codename Revolution at E3 2004. In 2005, the prototype console was shown off without any hint of motion control capabilities. RVL on the Wii's model number is a reference to its codename, Revolution. In the 91-pin round of power throws, throwing a ball on the rail and having it ride down the side until it hits these red buttons will cause an explosion leading to an automatic strike. You can do the same thing in the 100-pin game in Wii Sports Resort. The golf course in Wii Sports is actually based on the same holes from the NES golf game. The nunchuck shape is based on the N64's center handle. The Wii's disk drive is synced to the Japanese Blue Warbler's call whenever you receive a message. Candles can be used instead of a sensor bar. I'm not joking, the sensor is only there to beam infrared lights, and the Wiimote does the job of tracking. Japanese police once tried to catch a criminal using the Wii's Mii Maker. Even though the Wii was discontinued in 2013, Ubisoft kept releasing new Just Dance games on the console until 2020. It was the last game to be released on the Wii. Ubisoft actually would have kept releasing the games on the Wii, but Nintendo could no longer distribute physical games on the console. In Wii Sports Resort Archery, there's a secret target hidden on every stage. They're all reused models from Swordplay Speed Slice. The tiebreaker for Swordplay Duels heightens the arena down to just the blue center. Also, if you hold 2 before entering a Swordplay Duel, you can make the time of day evening. You can also do this for basketball to make it nighttime. After you beat Matt in Swordplay Duel, you can hold down 1 before entering a duel to use his purple sword. You can also do this in Wii Sports Boxing. After defeating him, hold 1 to use his silver boxing gloves. In Matt's gym, you can see newspaper clippings from his fights in the past. You can select the color of your bowling ball by holding down A in any direction on the D-pad when loading into a game. If you throw your bowling ball over into another lane, the Mies will laugh at you. You can do an underhand pitch in baseball by holding down 2 on the Wiimote. The sound effect that plays when you crash an island flyover is the same sound effect that you hear when you fall off a cliff in Mario Kart 64. <laughs> After beating the champion in table tennis, you can use a shoe as a paddle. If you fly near the lighthouse in Island Flyover, the lighthouse will play a Morse code message, and your me will respond. This is what they say. You can enable Golf Hard Mode by holding down 2 before entering a game. This will disable the Wind Indicator, Map, and Swing Meter. The packaging for the Wii Fit Balance Board in Japan states that the weight limit is 300 pounds, while in Western regions it says 330 pounds. However, the boards are identical and both hold 330 pounds. The Wii was Nintendo's first backwards compatible home console. Model 2 of the Wii and onwards removed all GameCube backwards compatibility to lower the price of consoles. Mario Kart Wii was the best-selling game on the console, selling just over 37 million units. Unless you obviously count Wii Sports, which came pre-packaged with each console. It sold just under 83 million. Wii Sports was also the best-selling game only to be sold on one console. The eyes on the Wii's logo are supposed to represent two people, symbolizing the focus on multiplayer on the console. It's also said to represent two Wiimotes. The Wii was specifically designed to be as small as possible. Iwata even stated that he wanted it to be the size of three DVD cases. 
Just a month after the console released, Nintendo recalled the original Wiimote straps, in favor for stronger clamped straps. This was due to flying Wiimotes destroying TVs. Ten months later, Nintendo also added rubber jackets to Wiimotes, to protect TVs if the Wiimotes happened to fly off. The Wii was the best-selling game console of the 7th generation, with 101 million units sold. In 2013, Nintendo released the Wii Mini in the US for just $99. This Wii would remove GameCube and Wi-Fi support. It also came out exactly one day before the Wii U. Wiimotes only have four lights to indicate which player you are. However, for games that allow up to eight players, there are actually unique patterns for players 5, 6, 7, and 8. I don't really understand why these specific patterns were chosen, but neat nonetheless. You've probably heard about the Queen's Golden Wii, but did you know she not only never played it, but she probably didn't even know it existed? THQ, the team behind the Wii Sports knockoff Big Family Games, sent the Queen a gold-plated Wii as a promotional stunt. However, the royal family turned down the gift out of security reasons. She never even interacted with it, which makes all the hoopla about this Golden Wii so fascinating. This abomination was a prototype controller for the Wii. Not much is known about it except that the star would have been used as a button. Also, people online nicknamed it the Cheddar Cheese Controller. Nintendo bought stake in the company Gyration Inc. in 2001. They were a key contributor to the Wii's motion controls. This is an early prototype from Gyration called the Gyropod. It included motion controls, but also more interesting, detachable controllers. A Wii Vitality Sensor was announced at E3 2009, yet was cancelled shortly thereafter. Wii Relax was a cancelled Wii game trademarked in 2010. It's speculated that this is what the Vitality Sensor would have been used for. During a drug bust in, of all places, Florida, police officers were caught on camera playing Wii Sports Bowling. In the description of the video, it says they played for over an hour. These creepy looking textures were found in the files of the Check Me Out channel. Okay, they're not supposed to be creepy, but they're creeping me out. In one of the most awkward moments in video game history, Nintendo demoed The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword at E3 2010. Only problem was, the motion controls were bugging out, in front of a live audience. Nintendo in the next few years would shift to online Nintendo Directs in favor of these live press conferences. The SD card menu was a secondary Wii menu that allowed you to load games from your SD card to your Wii. Personally, as a dumb kid, I was scared of the SD card menu. I always viewed it as the dark Wii. Did anyone else think this, or was I just stupid? Let me know in the comments if I'm alone, or you were also scared of the Wii SD card menu. <laughs> Before Uber Eats and Grubhub, the Wii had an app in Japan called Dame. This channel allowed users to order food from their Wii. Funny enough, it also had a roulette mode which would send you a random meal. In the files for the Wii, there appears to be a third disc that could have been used on the disc channel. This of course would have been your standard DVD, which unfortunately was not compatible with the final console. The Wiimo was designed to have a similar layout to the NES controller when turned sideways. The D-pad on the left with two buttons on the right. Woohoo Island was actually planned from the very first Wii Sports game. In a beta build of the game shown at E3 2006, there was a version of Island Flyover called Airplane, which shows an island strikingly similar to Woohoo Island. The first game Woohoo Island appeared in also wasn't in Wii Sports Resort. That honor goes to Wii Fit. However, the island isn't actually called Woohoo Island, it's just called Wii Fit Island. While it's possible they're two different locations, the resemblance here is nearly identical. The Wii was designed not to compete with competitors' power, but with innovation and fun technology. Former president of Nintendo Satoru Iwata even called it the GameCube Next as a placeholder, because the console was going to be roughly the same power as the GameCube, just with motion controls. I suppose I could give you a list of our technical specs, I believe you'd like that, but I won't for a simple reason. They really don't matter. This makes sense, because the first dev kit for the Wii was just a GameCube with Wiimote and Nunchuck. The controllers were actually wired unlike the final product. This controller right here, referred to as the B09, was a prototype motion-controlled controller designed for the GameCube. This early design would eventually become the Wiimote. 
Wii-itis is a real name for an injury caused by repetitive active play in a video game. And a popular Christmas gift could cause you some unexpected injuries. We're going to tell you why some doctors are saying the Wii video games could cause you the same injuries as you would get playing the real sport. Miis are roughly based on Kokeshi dolls. The big heads, simple features, and lack of limbs were key components that made Miis what they are today. Wii Sports was originally going to use Mario characters. However, Nintendo realized that using personalized avatars added a sense of immersion that wasn't present with already known characters. Makawuhu, the volcano on Wuhu Island, is called Mount Tonga Tonga Manga. Tanga Manga? Tanga Manga in Europe. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. The Wii Wheel has no technology inside it. The only difference from using a traditional Wiimo is the larger B button, and also the fact that you're holding a wheel. To buy games digitally on the Wii Shop, you had to buy Wii Points, each point being worth one cent. However, the only problem is you have to buy them in chunks of 10. So any game not sold exactly in an interval of 10, you have to round up to buy a game. To use Netflix on the Wii, you had to use the Netflix disc. This disc would load an app that would allow you to stream Netflix, and also you never had to return it. The only third-party game to crack the top 10 of Wii game sales was Just Dance 3, with just under 10 million sales. You can store up to 10 Miis in your Wiimote and bring them to another console. The MP3 file for the obese sound effect in Wii Fit is subtly called, uh, VeryFat.MP3. That's obese! Wii Chess was the only game in the Wii series that never released in North America. Wii Sports wasn't bundled with the Wii in Japan. It was former president of Nintendo America, Reggie fils that convinced the company to pack the games into consoles, stating that it was the key to its success. This is the NDEV, the main dev kit used for Wii developers. It had no optical drive, and games had to be streamed from USB to the system. In a trailer for the Nintendo Revolution, a white, black, red, lime green, and silver Wii can be spotted. However, the lime green and silver Wii never released. The Wii Zapper was sold with Link's Crossbow Training, a game that used assets from Twilight Princess to create a shooter. Tapping different parts of your Mii on the Wii Play menu will cause them to do some funny animations. Pressing A and B during the countdown in Wii Play Air Hockey will change your paddles to the traditional air hockey paddles. Pressing 2 while loading into a tennis match will allow you to play on the blue courts from training mode. When playing multiplayer Wii Play, the winning Mii grows while the losing Mii shrinks. You can control all the Miis in tennis by just making all the Miis yourself. That way, you can't lose. There are two different versions of Wii Sports, the 1.0 version and the 1.01 version. And they have quite a few differences, like the title screen for instance. The date was changed to 2006 through 2007, and a jacket was also added for the Wii mode. Also, the famous cutscene from before each baseball game wasn't in the original 1.0 version. The original model for the Wii was meant to be used vertically, and even came with a stand. But later revisions removed the stand and even turned the logo sideways to encourage horizontal display. The Wii Classic controller was a controller specifically designed to play virtual console games. Its layout is similar to the SNES controller with two sticks. It's also a bit goofy since it's technically wireless, however, in the same way that the nunchuck is wireless. It has to be connected directly into a Wiimote to connect to the console. On Wii prototypes, there was a channel called the Wii Menu Uninstaller, which, as you guessed, would uninstall the Wii Menu. This sounds stupid, but for development's sake, I could see how it could be pretty useful. The Wii came with six channels pre-downloaded. The Disc, Me, Photo, Wii Shop, Forecast, and News Channels. The Wii Menu has four pages and 48 channel slots. Wii Connect 24 was a feature for the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection that allowed other consoles to connect through messages and channels. One of the most popular of these channels was the Everybody Votes channel. The first vote worldwide was what do people like more, dogs or cats? In Speed Slice, you can put out the candle without slicing it. You can do this by just waving over the flame. You can play an 11-point game of table tennis by holding down 2 before entering a match. 
Most of the time when downloading content, you will have a little animation of an 8-bit Mario. However, there's a small chance that instead of Mario, Luigi will appear. In sports that have audiences, the higher you climb the ladder, the more Miis will appear in the audience. Wii Sports was originally going to just have three sports, tennis, baseball, and golf. However, Nintendo thought that since baseball wasn't popular outside of North America and Japan, they should add one more. Except they didn't. They added two more, boxing and bowling. Wii Sports was played on stage during the 2008 Oscars. The song playing right now is an unused track from Wii Sports. It reportedly was used during an E3 demo, but was cut during development. In 2008, a TV remote manufacturer who sold a product known as the Wiimote with two E's sent out cease and desist letters to many retailers for selling Wii remotes with the nickname Wiimote. The sales for the Wiimote had gone down drastically since the Wii's release. However, not once in Nintendo's marketing or branding did they call it the Wiimote. That was just a fan portmanteau. The Motion Plus was an accessory that was released alongside Wii Sports Resort. It greatly improved subtle motion detection. Nintendo would later go on to directly implement the tech into future models of the Wiimote. In early trailers for the Wii, there were many shots of players using two Wii remotes at the same time, instead of a nunchuck. It's assumed that the nunchuck was created to make a cheaper remote for games that needed more controls. The Wii got YouTube in 2012, and you were definitely able to view our videos back then. And you can now, so go check out this video about 100 facts about the Switch on our sister channel, Switchtop. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! The Nintendo Switch is one of the best-selling consoles of all time, and while you might think you know all there is to know about the Switch, here's 100 Nintendo Switch facts that you probably don't know. Before its reveal, Nintendo's codename for the Switch was the Nintendo NX. The Switch released on March 3rd, 2017.